today. Gas God, oh, there's plants and trees and lots of hay. Gas God, now you're lucky, so don't delay. Put on your boots, we're on our way. Now it's time for another adventure at Gas. I'm Gav, and welcome back to my garden. Today on the show, we'll have Ivan Scrab cooking up a feast. Madeline will be in with another of her movie reviews, and Paul with one of his fabled celebrity impersonations. But first, let me show you a few tricks at the billiards table. Now here's a good way to impress the boys at the pub. You want to open with a strong trick. This one, is called the Steaming Stallion. And the next one I've got for you, it's called the Hot Stud. And last but not least, the Mayor of Horsetown. That ought to give you a few pointers. Now let's throw over to Madeline with a movie review. Thanks Gav. Today I'm reviewing what is probably one of the worst shark movies ever made. It is called The Jaws. The Jaws is a bad shark movie because it takes at least an hour before you get to even see the shark and when you finally see it, it's not even that good. The Jaws is about a man called Mr. Brody who hates sharks. He makes friends with a man called Hopper who actually kind of likes sharks and another man called the Quint who doesn't like sharks. And together they decide they're going to kill a shark. They go out on a boat and try to kill the Jaws, who is a shark that lives at their beach. And the shark blows up after he eats the Quint. They also show each other their scars and they become best friends before Quint gets eaten by the Jaws. I give this film zero sharks out of 10. Sounds terrible, Madeline. I'll avoid that one. And now it's time for our very own Master Chief of the Kitchen, Ivan Scrab. Thanks, Dad. Let's stack them Okay, this down here. Two of these, okay. Now it's time for our friend Paul, all the way from the USA, with another great impersonation. Let's check it out. Uh, thanks again, Gav. Hey, this is Paul, and this time I like to do my impression of Jack Nicholson. I'm just marking my territory. Can you move? You can handle the truth. Well, that's it for me this time. We'll be back next time, so back to the studio. Good stuff, Paul. Now, once again, it's time for our favorite part of the show. That's right. It's Gav's Talent Search, 1993. Hi Gav, my name's Gretel, and I have a problem with kids using swear words. Now, it seems to me that everywhere I go, whether it's down to the shops or at the bus stop, all I hear is S, this, and C, that. I can't stand it. So, I've got a special talent I've developed. I've come up with uh, some new words that I can use in place of the swear word, and I think you might like them. Now, this is a good one. Have a look at this. Instead of using that word, why not try saying, flip you? I think it's pretty good. What about this one? Holy scrap. Now, doesn't that sound good? But the best of all, you know that word you should never use. You know the one I'm talking about. This is pretty effective. Why not try, pop you, you mupping mop? Now, isn't that so much better? Holy scrap. What a great talent. Until next week, though. You can all go flip off.